What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 7 and today's topic will be uh, again on query parameter but in this tutorial we're going to talk about query parameter a bit uh, like in, in, in more details so there are three different use cases which actually I'm planning to cover the first use case is query parameter with default value second use case will be query parameter with bool value or boolean value and the last one will be query parameter with a json file like we are going to uh, read a json file and from the json file we'll be going to uh, pass different uh, uh, very uh, like various uh, query parameter value and based on that we'll be going to do some sort of if else looping and based on that we'll generate some return statement okay so this is a very simple thing but again i'll be going to just uh, give you guys some sort of intuition so that you guys will feel confident and comfortable with all the different aspects of query parameters okay so without wasting much time i'll be going to start with the first use case but before that guys please uh gone through the slide number four cause uh like uh, still i'm getting so many emails and requests that i'm not able to install fast api so guys check your python version if it is not uh uh, greater than or equals to the version is not greater than or equals to 3.6 we have to do that and after that you can do it easily okay so first thing first uh, uh, first we'll be going to talk about the default value okay so not this one uh, where is my visual studio code oh it is here so let me start writing the code so it will be from first api import okay no why this is this change actually i don't know okay what happened why it is getting changed okay strange okay now it is working i don't know what is ha happening then yeah now it is working but that time it was not working so first thing let me write a decorated decorator actually with the routes app dot get sorry and there can write any route like slash users uh, it should be inside this and let me write the decorated function so let's write def users and it should contain one parameter like this and then let me write return and here maybe i can write something user underscore id and there i can write id so if you see here in my path i don't uh, mention this id thing right but i'll be going to use this id cause id is going to uh, uh, going to be used as our what do you say query parameter so let me write it should be uvcon main then app then port is going to be any port i want and then it should be reload again i did a mistake always it should be uvcon so something from first api import first api unexpected indent okay so actually the error was coming because of this actually if you guys see uh, like this okay so application has started so i have to go and check the application from 8060 port so let me open localhost uh, i don't know which port it is saying so let me remove everything from here 8060 then slash then slash users then i'll be going to use the query parameter right then let's say id equals to 5 okay 
see I got user ID equals to 5 so if I print 55 I will get 55 so this is fine this is working uh, like properly so if I write something so I'll get something so I haven't mentioned any integer or that here so that is why it is working as expected so now um, now the problem is that suppose if you do not mention anything right here and if you write this thing so it will say that id is required why id is required cause this is our route and in the route i am calling this function with this id so definitely id has to be passed from the query parameter right or else how the function will get this id so that is why definitely id is required that is why we are getting this error these things are already discussed in the last tutorial now the problem is that if you don't pass this thing then also it is also possible to get some value so let's say six okay so now what will happen so if you pass this thing see i get a default value right so this is what I, I was trying to explain you guys now what i will do uh, id equals to six and let's say name okay so now i will write name equals to name right so id has a default value but name is not having a default value so name has to come from the query right so what i'll do now right so i will write name equals to ronnie so let's see what is happening in here nothing is happening right so what you have to do you have to write something id equals to let's say six like this and if you run this uh, hold on something is problem uh, uh, okay sorry so I did a mistake actually so uh, there is a rule that name has to also uh, contain a default value or else it will not work okay so let's say let me write Ronnie okay so now this this will work sorry I forgot I forgot to do that so that is why it is not changed actually so say I got this thing now let's say I'm just giving you guys some example so now if we pass let's say see now I didn't change the user ID I just changed the this thing so it got changed right now if i change the value of this thing see it got changed but it didn't get changed called name is coming from the i uh, sorry id is coming from the default value now i going to change this 100 so it will 100 and the name will again become ronnie because ronnie has a default value for the name see it, it is 100 so now next time if you guys can guess it if i change the name equals to let's say uh what do you say like mark so if i refresh this page what will uh, become uh, what will be the value of the name and what will be the value of this thing can you can you can anyone guess so value of the user id will be the default value and name will be replaced by this mark so let's check so id 6 why 6 we are getting from default so that is why the default thing is very important okay so if you put something inside uh, like uh, with, with the value inside your function like uh, definition then definitely you don't have to pass it from the uh, like query parameter while you are uh, actually requesting the api endpoints but if you are not mentioning anything with the default then definitely you have to pass but if you if you if you mention any any one of the variable with default then definitely have to uh, mention the other variable as well as the default okay so that is the thing so let me write down the code over here so code is done so let me so it's done maybe
ओके सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट बुल ओके हाउ द बुल इज गोइंग टू ट्रेड ओके सो मे बी यू कैन राइट समथिंग लेट्स से आई डी ओके सो मे बी आई कैन राइट लेट मी चेक सो यूजर मे बी एक्टिव मे बी इज एक्टिव and then i will pass um, here let me write is active then no just hold on let me make it a bit this thing effective um it is coming from here if is active then uh there is another variable is else okay and then i'll be going to return uh active and then val so what is going to happen i'll be going to pass this uh, sorry going to request this endpoint with this variable and i'll be going to pass true and false okay so if it is true then it is is active true then it should return yes and if it is false then it should return no so right now this is fine so just forget about bool concept i i believe uh, you guys are now able to like uh, correlate things just because i have the slide open over here right i am going to talk about bool so now you guys are able to understand what i am actually going to do so but uh, just forget about that just think about a very simple thing if it is true then it will become yes and i'll get active equals to if it is for uh, something false then i should get like this okay so is active equals to so still i am getting yes whatever value i am getting putting i am getting yes cross so it is uh, getting uh, like it is being treated as a string so that is why so that is why what you have to do we have to use sorry you have to use a bool over here now let me see this is immediately it is saying it is not then if i see true right so now you guys able to understand the meaning of this thing now if i do something see true so value could not be parsed cause boolean only can have two types of values either true or either false if you put something else you will get a parse error so this is amazing you don't have to uh, like think about those things only you have to just use proper exceptional handling apart from other things will be handled from your api endpoints okay if you just follow the proper documentation you will be able to learn these things uh, these things very easily actually because i uh, i learn it from the documentation so i'm just saying the same thing to all of you guys just follow the documentation so next thing is a json file so what i'll be going to do here so uh let me uh, just keep this endpoint as it is okay so i'll be going to use another endpoint so in that endpoint we'll be going to do everything okay so what is my json file let me check whether i already created it or not yes i have created the json file so this is a simple json file so i have a user id for 1001 and i have a name and i have this thing so based on the user id i'll be going to parse and i'll be going to do some sort of operation okay so for that let me first create one new endpoint okay so so let me just give uh, app dot get 
and there I'll be going to give a new name user okay and there I'll be going to like user okay and I'll be going to call this endpoint with ID okay the simple thing now I'll be going to do the operation so what will happen if I pass with uh, 1001 so what will do it will go and check in the json file and it will uh, it will it will go and check in the json file for the corresponding id and it will return the corresponding name for the user so that is the thing so you have to read the json file and you have to parse using sorry you have to search using this id and you have to get the return that's it okay so for that thing uh, i need to uh, write a function so maybe i can write the function here so I need to read the JSON so that is why maybe I can write uh, import JSON and after that maybe I can write uh, read underscore JSON right and inside that uh, my file variable right right and let me just write so if is going to be open like I will going to open the file and then I'll be opening the file right and then maybe i can write then json dot it is going to be json dot loads uh right json dot load is meant with string right and after that i'll be going to uh, return this data right right so here i'm getting the data now what i'll do here i'll be going to do the actual operation okay so let's say data equals to uh, read json and inside that i'll be going to uh, mention my file name so this is going to be users dot json so data will be this data and after that it is going to be uh, like uh, i'll be going to search this value against this one okay so in my json i have only uh, uh, two columns so let's say um, i'm just thinking uh, what are the things i have see i have this user so what i'll do maybe i can uh, create a variable so let's say user underscore data equals to data of users by users my main key is uh, uh, key name is users okay and after that uh, uh, I will just for uh, row in user data so if you see this is a list and list is having one dictionary so I have to do that okay so what I'll do now if row of uh, uh, row of ID I mean uh, this ID right ID is equals to equals to uh, row of ID ID means uh, I'm just thinking uh, row of id yes right sorry id means this one row of id is equals to equals to this id okay then sorry then name equals to row of name right this name if id is match then name will be name name right and once the match is found i need a break actually here right so once the match found i need a break and after that i return but for else condition what is going to happen nobody knows right so for that purpose what i'll do before the for loop starts what i'll do name equals to invalid i will pu always put that so if there is no match found it will be always remain as invalid right so after that what we'll do once i come here here i'll put return 
and inside that I will put id equals to id and I will put name equals to name so our job is done so now I can only get values for 1001 and 1002 if I put anything apart from 1001 and apart from 1002 I will get invalid in the name so let's run this thing so our endpoint is user and I have to call using ID okay so let's run this thing let's see Uh, sorry it is user then like this then id then first run with 1001 see 1001 is this and ronnie okay and let's see i got john okay so just to make everything is working fine so what i'll do so i change my name to this and I close this thing so hopefully this got saved okay so now I will again call this endpoint with this see I got this thing so now if I run this thing with 1003 which is not present in the JSON so I will get an invalid whatever I put with apart from 10012 I will get so this is very simple guys so in real world scenario real world application you have to uh, like uh, develop this sort of configuration driven application for example uh, suppose you are creating an enterprise application so there are different types of users are there and the configuration is only save uh, in your backend or in your server so it will go and read the configuration and based on that you will do some backend calculation and depending on the calculation you will get the result in your ui and the ui will render this thing in uh, like in the ui uh, written format like for example in table or any chart or whatever but here actually i'm using json to simple thing but in in, in real world scenario definitely it is not going to be that case uh, definitely there will be some application and this data should be rendered in a different format but actually this data is going to be passed so let me give you one thing so this is the api and api will be wired with uh, ui and in the back end there will be a database and multiple different endpoints or configuration will be there so altogether uh, complete enterprise application um, uh, must contain different uh, pieces so i'm uh, just going only going to talk about the api at this moment and i'll throw out the course i'll be going to talk about ai uh, once the first api is completed so probably my plan is to create one or two uh, like application like fully fledged application using ui html javascript css so that i can show you guys how actually fast api works so that is my plan but let's see how far we can go okay so i believe uh, uh, these are the things we completed so let me just put this thing again but i don't think this will cover here so anyways i'll be going to upload the code uh, in my github repository so you guys will be able to understand the code so i'm just uh, putting this part in the uh, pdf i think this is the only required part yes and rest of the code you guys can get it easily from my github so before i close you to this tutorial guys please make sure you guys uh, should do proper practice read the documentation uh, watch my videos carefully and after that try to do some sort of practice at least try to wrote, uh, try to write the code by your own or else you will definitely forget the things okay because things are uh, things actually already started to uh, started uh, what do you say like uh, it's already started to become uh, more complex and in, in in upcoming days it will become more complex as i uh, like can guarantee guys because uh, definitely uh, we are going to uh, deal with some other advanced and intermediate uh, intermediate and advanced topics so it is a high time that you guys should start uh, doing some practice or else uh, uh, eventually with the time you guys will uh, start forgetting the things okay so that is why i always recommend you guys after watching my videos just try to do some practice don't just rely or blindly watch my videos after watching my videos just do some practice because watching my videos alone will not uh, like uh, take you guys to anywhere it will only give you guys uh, some sort of like uh, self uh, motivation that you guys learn something but uh, trust me 
if you are not able to implement all those learning uh, or learned uh, topics uh, throughout the week or weekends whatever then definitely uh, eventually with the time you guys will start forgetting those things so try to implement all those things implement means uh, try to write the course or else uh, there is no point okay so that's it that is the uh, only uh, recommendation or advice i can give you guys and now i need one more help from all of you try to put some sort of feedback good or bad doesn't matter it has to be real feedback because uh, depending on your feedback i i, I will try to uh, again uh, like uh, sort or change some uh, topics or contents of this course because i i have no plan to create this second video on query parameter because you guys uh, asked me to uh, like do one more videos with some use cases and this json thing is actually from one of my students one of my students actually so that is why i created this tutorial so you guys have if you guys have any other use cases please write me i'll try to incorporate all this thing in my upcoming classes okay so enough of talking guys so that's it so please uh, try to uh, uh gone through the documentation go uh, as well okay let's see uh what i will uh, uh make for next class so that's it guys that's it for today hope to see you in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye and have a nice day